Hola. 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 Hello. Hello and good morning. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. It's amazing to be here. It's amazing to see a fully booked M. WC. Many of you were not here last year. I was here last year and it was rather empty. It was very sad to see so very little people in the mobile. For us, for Telefonica, this is a special forum where we try and broadcast everything we have been developing in the last months and years. This is a very special date for us. We try to be, you know, ready to go. and. Today we wanted to do a hold and perhaps tell you a little bit more about what is it that we have been telling you about in the last six editions of the mobile. Of course, we've been talking about digital transformation for a long time, our fourth platform, and also we want to tell you a little bit more about where we're looking towards, where we're headed to. As you can see, we are using a new name for what is the heart of the digital transformation that Telefonica has undergone in the last years. We have been using the name Fourth Platform internally for a while, but from now on we're going to be using Telefonica CareNet because as of today, everything has been merged in the heart of Telefonica, Ca Telefonica CoreNet and we are gathering and bundling all the digital services. This has been a very intense journey for us. I have been, I mean, I'm lucky enough to be in the company for 10 years now. I've been in the company for 10 years now. In February the 1st, I celebrated my 10th anniversary here in Telefonica, and it's been, it, it's been an amazing journey. More specifically, since we started the digital transformation journey in 2016, where we started discussing about the fourth platform understood as an environment where data would be standardized, normalized, APIs would be also standardized, and this fourth platform is the basis for the development of all the digital services. It's been an intense journey, and you, all of you, if you have attended previous editions of the mobile, I am sure you will be acquainted with our announcement in 2017. It was the first announcement of the fourth platform. We started working with Aura in 2018. We launched Aura in six countries, our digital assistant. Movistar Home was announced also at the MWC 2018. And we have been developing a home platform where we integrate different experiences. You can see them integrated in the digital home environment in our stand. And we have started exploring the tokenization, the network tokenization, to start discussing about the Web3 network, which will be extremely important for Telefonica in the development of new digital services and all the and in all the innovation projects, of course. We're gonna be focusing on this point also this year. This year, we're here to tell you more about how we have evolved throughout all this journey in terms of digital integration. This is a picture from the past. This is one of the slides we use to tell you about the fourth platform and to refer to the digital transformation process or journey. And this slide includes information about our core digital services. Today, the fourth platform platform that we call kernel. Today, all the products and services are integrated in this Telefonica kernel. Before I said kernet, it's kernel. So we have 6 billion normalized registers. We have 6.2 million active users every month using our Aura Digital Assistant integrated in WhatsApp, uh, in our contact centers, in our TV platform. So we have 1.5 million petitions monthly to our APIs within the fourth platform. 30 million active users in our mobile application used to broadcast all our services. And we have around 10 million TV users connected to the platform, to the kernel platform. The journey that started back in 2016, well, back then we had an idea. We wanted to break the silos in 
traditional telephonic application that we wanted to develop a cloud architecture where <coughs> new digital services could be centralized and things have changed ever since. We're not speaking about an idea anymore. We're speaking about the core of our digital services. And throughout the journey, we have brought on board many, many different partners that have helped make sure that our digital services portfolio is wider. So what I'm going to do now, if you agree, is to go through the journey from a customer perspective and from a digital customer experience that we have been able to provide or supply to our customers first. Let me focus on the application. We decided to have one single mobile application for the whole Telefonica group. Different brand, but same digital heart based on the fourth platform. We are speaking here about 31 million users connected to the platform, which has become one of the major impacts we're speaking about one of the most important tools to manage the business. As you can see, more than one third of the digital sales in Telefonica happen through our mobile application, which is a shared mobile application in different countries or common platform. But, you know, home is our territory. We are the incumbent in many countries where we have presence in the home segment. We have developed a strategy throughout our home strategies or channels. We announced the development of what we call home ecosystem, hey, a, a platform. So everything we supply to our customers is designed internally in Telefonica set of box, smart display, the Wi-Fi router, the amplifier, the voice controlled, remote control. All this equipment is designed in Telefonica and is connected in a single platform. Everything is based on Telefonica kernel. We have the different inhabitants, payment platform, authentication, payment, privacy, privacy management, digital assistant, etc. And on top of this architecture, we deploy our supply or our offer to our customers based on core services that we have widened, that we have better adapted to a new reality with services and application related to entertainment for the TV and video segment. We have also agreement agreements with all content suppliers and also voice, data, Wi-Fi, connectivity at home, that is. But this is only a bit or a part or a segment of our strategy. Thanks to Telefonica Kernel, we have been able to widen our integrated offer in different areas. Gaming, where we have been partnering with Microsoft, Fortnite, and we have broadened our connectivity platforms to adapt to the gaming world. Entertainment is another important segment. We work with LinkedIn to bring LinkedIn to our customers TV, social with TikTok and Twitter integration. In e-commerce, we have been partnering with Amazon, Rakuten, Amazon, Rakuten, Samsung, etc. And we have also widened our scope of core services. And that's why we have been developing new digital services in new digital verticals that many of you know, such as alarm, home alarms, health applications, financial services, and we're going to keep developing them, further developing them. All these digital services, going from the traditional core cool digital services to the most disruptive and groundbreaking ones, are based on the same digital heart, Telefonica Kernel. So for that, we have made the most of our presence because we are incumbent, we are relevant, you know, because when Telefonica, when we learned the first website, the first, the first internet, we had to transform ourselves and we had to start becoming a, an internet service provider or supplier. And now we are a broadband fiber internet supplier and we've become also a mobile connectivity supplier. We want to be fundamental in the transformation process and we keep investing and making sure that our positionment is the most 
Red Event 1. As you know, in 5G in Spain, we have a coverage of 80%. That means that 40 million users enjoy 5G. And in fiber, between Europe and Latin America, we are the market leaders in fiber connected homes. We're gonna keep working and investing in our core, which is connectivity. And now we are bringing things one step further. Connectivity and Wi-Fi has been key in our strategy. That's why we developed our own router and we developed our own intelligent management connectivity called the Smart Wi-Fi, where we have integrated new functions and features to make sure that the customer experience with Wi-Fi is better and better. We have also integrated a Microsoft technology. Smart Wi-Fi is connected with the fourth platform with Telefonica Kernel, and it allows customers to control all the devices, all the connected devices. You can pause them, you can restart them, you can open profiles on the site on connectivity times, etc. I'm always surprised when, when, when users compl uh, complain about parents blocking them over dinner time. This is good news, it means the service is working. This service also allows you to optimize the channel. We have been working to make sure that connectivity is better and better. We have also integrated prioritization, traffic prioritization parameters to make sure that the gaming or remote working experience is improved. The service is called Mono Gaming. We have developed safety environments for guests. We have integrated all the security network services. There's what we call safe connection where you can block malicious cookies or birds and of course we've brought it all to TV. From your TV interacting with Aura or Movistar Home, you can block users and services. You can control connectivity from your couch. Another digital service, which is included for our customers. Of course, none of these services has any extra cost for our customers. We also offer them Movistar Cloud, which has reached 300,000 users who are using Movistar Cloud with an unlimited storage capacity. There's an application where users can control all the content and the mobile experience and the TV experience is amazing. They can synchronize content and send them to colleagues or relatives. They can socialize content thanks to Movistar Cloud. And I'm extremely proud about the good rating that we have achieved. As you can see, we have quite a high rating for the application segment. When it comes to voice connectivity, we decided to uplift the traditional landline, which is still something with a high legal protection in many countries. And we decided to develop a new phone with a smart display experience that is a new communication experience. We decided to uplift uh, traditional landlines. It's a smart display called Movistar Home, allows users and customers to do traditional end-to-end -end calls or fix to fix calls, but we decided to uplift it. We decided to include video conference theaters and to ensure that the video conference can be enjoyed through TV screens. All Movistar Home customers can use their TVs or their TV screens for their phone calls or video conferences. It's integrated and thus you can do video calls at any moment. And of course, all different platforms have been integrated, like Zoom, as you can see in the slide, you can use Zoom in the Movistar Home package, and we have also integrated Teams, because for us, Teams is extremely relevant. We are speaking here about a traditional mobile experience for our customers, but we have different modes, do not disturb, sleep, etc. We have also integrated them to make sure that phones, smartphones become more, more special. As I said in the previous slide, we have been working to expand our theaters with new digital experiences. And for that, we have 
brought a series of experiences going from karaoke. I refused to sing a song in front of you, so this is only a presentation. We have integrated karaoke as one more experience, and we have also expanded that with new experiences. Of course, entertainment is the first one. Entertainment is our first bet. We have integrated Netflix, Disney, Prime Zoom, La Liga Sports, and other content suppliers, Mi Tele, Atres Player, major suppliers here in Spain. And today, I believe we have a differential experience in case of in the case of sports in the sports segment, all the sports information is automatically broadcasted through Movistar at home. Using Aura, you can update content, you can control the direct, you can go backwards, upwards, you can see two channels simultaneously. And we have a second screen. Thanks to that, you can check statistics, comments. And thanks to our partnership with Twitter, we have developed experience where you can see the most relevant Twitter messages sent in social media and we also offer teams different post-match experience says in plural with summaries interviews and all this thanks to our living apps as you can see the aim of all this journey is to uplift our digital services and to be able to socialize entertainment because TV is never gonna become a social network or social network, but or at least this is not our objective. But I believe that it's important to be able to share content, TV content through social networks. That's why we have been working and partnering with TikTok and Twitter. There are a couple of experiences that we have been working on real time video content that well, all these videos that are being published through a hashtag or a topic can be enjoyed live through TV. Customers can see all the video content directly in their TV screens without any effort. The same applies to TikTok. TikTok is a very popular social network in our times. It's become key in social entertainment and it's part of the public debate. It's a key actor in the public debate. So we have developed what we call TikTok extra experience that you can see in the demos. Now, another area we have been working on is the gaming segment. As you know, gaming is one of the key engines of the metaverse that we're speaking about, where virtual worlds are using more and more resources in terms of immersive experiences in economy resources within these micro societies that virtual worlds are and we have been working with them to make sure that their experiences are brought to telefonica kernel customers with fortnite and other gaming platforms we have integrated all the payment services that they use in their platforms through the carrier dealing and other payment telephone other telephonic payment services we have also integrated our connectivity offer prioritized for the gaming segment that's why we have a, a gaming mode if you activate it you can prioritize traffic for gaming purposes we have developed a display a control panel to ensure you can control connectivity quality and we've done so because we believe that gaming is going to be one of the key levers in the segment. It's here to stay. And we have been working with Microsoft to develop Game Pass, which is a cloud gaming solution. You can enjoy it without having to download it in all your devices. We have integrated the Game Pass experience also in TV for Telefonica customers. We have also we have more than 100 super productions that is updated every month. Of course, this is a multi-device service, as all cloud gaming platforms. 
and I believe we have contributed to a much better gaming experience thanks to Fiverr, thanks to prioritization services and the ports, configuration, the network, the port, the network port, uh, prioritization services, and we have allowed gamers to monitor real time how their platforms, our connections are working. Another relevant service that we have integrated has to do with music. We have brought free music to our customers. We have integrated Movistar Music Service that can be, I mean, it's a subscription based service, yet when it comes to home, we have included all the stations, what we call stations, to make sure that our customers enjoy music in their smart display, 100% integrated without any extra effort. So we are improving the service provided to our customers thanks to music, which is high in demand in home environments. For that, the only thing they have to do is choosing the music they want to listen to, and the platform will immediately bring them or allow them to listen to the music of their choice. Another key bet for home, thanks to having the integration platform that allows us to integrate all the service suppliers, has to do with podcasts and video podcast. Po podcast sorry. This service is growing in terms of consumption in households. Individuals are consuming more and more podcasts. So we have integrated the main video podcast suppliers in all, all our devices, TV, a smart display. And we have, I believe, contributed to high quality podcast experiences through a smart display. And we have been partnering with the main suppliers in this field. They're all integrated. You only need to choose the podcast you want to enjoy in your digital environment. Within the experiences that we have contributed to, I believe some of them are extremely relevant. One which is becoming more and more relevant in the era of the pandemic has to do with edutainment. We launched Movistar Campus, the platform Movistar Campus, and we've brought content, the content related to education and training so that they can be enjoyed through TV screens. And this content has been developed by ourselves in some occasions, whereas in other occasions, this content is developed by trainers, teachers, like astronomy teachers, as you can see the screen and suppliers in all these verticals. Then, of course, LinkedIn learning services have been integrated thanks to our partnership. Partnership, sorry, with Microsoft. We brought all the LinkedIn training capabilities to TV. So if you want to have a look, you can go to the demo area and you will see how the application works. Basically, all the LinkedIn learning courses are available so that users can consume them through their big screen. You need to remember that all these experiences do not require of any application. All these experiences are already pre-uploaded or pre-downloaded rather by default for our customers, of course. Same applies to TV commerce. As I told you at the beginning, we have integrated within our Telefonica kernel capabilities a TV payment platform that allow for TV commerce experiences. That's why we have integrated several suppliers, Amazon. We've used, I mean, we've partnered with Amazon to have an e-commerce TV service that has a big portfolio of products down to 20,000 products. We have been working with stores and shops or stores rather to develop an e-service a TV a service. You can do the whole process through your TV screen. And this will allow you to be able to shop from your couch. We have been we're very happy about our partnership with Rakuten that allows users to buy tickets from home. What we have been trying in the last few years is to make sure that 
TV screens become an entertainment digital environment. Amazon is another of our partners. We have been working with the uh, Amazon team, Rise the Bark. They have fine-tuned user experience to the limit, and in this case, all the products can be selected. Users choose the product that they want to buy. It's integrated with Aura. You can search by voice. You can use the different telephonic kernel systems to get to the end product and then of course pay and buy to make the experience quick and simple we've been working with shopify probably shopify is one of the most important e-commerce developers we have integrated the shopify platform with our tv platforms which allows any company willing to share their e-commerce experience to publish their e-commerce within the Telefonica platform. So now Shopify and Telefonica are integrated. And that's quite amazing in it. All this is only the beginning. That's what we aimed at when we started this journey in 2016. We wanted to transform digital services in Telefonica. And I believe this is very good, this is amazing, this is great, but this is only the beginning, this is up to date, and you know, we are in a rapidly evolving market. We have been partnering with many different partners, as I said at the beginning, and there's a very special partner that we've been working with since the beginning, since all our ideas were limited in a blackboard. When I was appointed chief data officer, in 2016, I traveled to the US and met Microsoft representative and the drawing that I shared at the beginning was only an idea in a blackboard, on a blackboard. They, I mean, I took a picture and I've published it in the internet many times and I've shared how difficult it was to start from scratch, to develop technology from scratch on a blackboard. It was difficult back then to convince anyone that we would get where we are today. We, we've had an amazing relationship with Microsoft, and we have Alberto Granados, president of Microsoft Iberica. Alberto, thank you very much. Kindly join me. Thank you very much, Chema. Well, to be honest, it's been quite intense, hasn't it? And our, in our partnership with Microsoft, everything has changed. Have you perceived things this way? Absolutely, that's how we have perceived things also. It's been a fascinating journey, first of all. I would have to thank you for inviting me. I believe it's amazing to see how we are helping Telefonica internally in data. Um, and well, I believe that Telefonica is becoming a milestone in the telco. Uh, we are reinventing the industry altogether, and we're working in a very relevant, in very relevant areas such as confidentiality, trusted cloud, etc. For public services, for the public sector, we are supplying solutions which are groundbreaking today. For SMEs, I believe that we now can say that no SMEs should left behind so we need to be able to develop joint solutions we are also developing a competition center training more and more p people in telefonica so that ca so, so that they can innovate in the 5g network that we told you about we're working together on how to apply ai in preventive maintenance environments self repair zero touch services to implement innovation to the network management and i believe this is a fascinating fascinating journey we've been working since 2016 i wasn't in spain i was in asia but you were definitely a referent in 2016 we started our joint venture in 2019 we reached a strategic alliance very robust powerful alliance to uplift cloud services in spain and to implement ai in all services in all Telefonica services in the contact center. We're now also using 
Aura for messaging services and home messages, but we're not gonna stay here, right? Of course, no, we have to uplift our partnership and I believe that our respective bosses are better entitled to tell us more about it. At Mobile World Congress in Barcelona, I had the pleasure of introducing with my friend Satya Nadella, CEO of Microsoft, the establishment of a strategic partnership between our companies. Our goal was to foster innovation and transform the telco industry. Well, three years on, I am very proud to say that we have achieved important milestones in our collaboration. Together, we have accelerated Telefonica's own digital transformation and brought customers innovative experiences in a time of very profound changes at all levels. Today, as we take our partnership into a new phase, I am looking forward to working together on new initiatives for both the corporate and consumer segments. Initiatives built on top of our state-of-the-art connectivity and advanced network capabilities. Initiatives based on the transformative power of AI, but also on new technologies as we enter a new phase of technological disruption and a new era of internet. We want to make this possible keeping always in mind our firm commitment that a fair use of technology based on trust should empower people and not leave anyone behind. That's our compromise. Satya. Thank you very much, Jose Maria. It's great to be with all of you virtually this week at MWC. Without a question, we're living through an era of unprecedented change to our society and our economy. At Microsoft, we are committed to helping people and organizations apply the power of digital technology to adapt and thrive in this new era. That's why our partnership with Telefonica is so important. Together, we are defining the future of telecommunications, bringing the power of the cloud to public and private sectors, developing new technologies for the deployment and operation of 5G networks, and creating new transformative customer experiences powered by Azure AI. And we know this is just the beginning. As the world continues to rapidly change and digitize together, we will continue to help organizations of all sizes in every industry accelerate the digital transformation. I'm looking forward to this next phase of our partnership and what we will achieve together in the years ahead. Thank you so very much. Bueno, la, la verdad es que the truth is that uh, we've been working together and collaborating for many years and also what we are working on. So please go ahead. So, yes, we are using your infrastructure, as you know, for the new region in Spain. We are creating a lot of common links in this uh, region that is going to be online and ready in the following months. But, uh, we need to enrich in the experience also at home and opening up all the ex all the access, like you said, giving a different experience in games. We think that this is uh, going to be the starting point in which people are going to relate to each other, opening up a new world, a virtual world, and also giving new capabilities in the households, like uh, using productivity platforms, are uh, Microsoft 365, or also in order to integrate teams in the uh, Movistar platform, opening up new communication ways. And during the pandemic, it is fundamental to uh, take advantage of uh, your home for education with LinkedIn, with 800 million users at global level, opens up a lot of doors so to get training, to find a new job and creating a new experience in your household. And also talking about 5G, the service, uh, uh, devices will have a different connectivity and um, we're now in a very safe and secure platform. This is a great concern, the cyber security and thinking about a safer and a more secure platform. And this is the partnership. Yes, we have integrated the feed, this security feed in Microsoft intelligence and it is going to uh, tell our customers when there is a a uh, security problem in their network uh, using the smart uh, Wi-Fi. And um, also B2B and public administration, are you doing anything 
Well, as I said, um, basically, so giving these type of solutions, uh, reinventing the experience in your home and also the B2B, uh, public administrations and the SMEs and big companies, giving the intelligence to the edge and the giving uh, highly secure environments in regulated spheres. It is a passionate uh, and very exciting journey, always reinventing ourselves. Uh, thank you very much for having invited me. Thank you, Alberto, for being here. So one of the last things in the B2C is teams and giving support to teams in the Mobistar home is a priority to us in our smart phone at home. And we are working in order to deploy it in all the households where Mobistar Home is already. So all this journey, it's a, uh, it's been a very exciting, we've used technology, taking steps forward in order to become this cloud-centric technology where we have this uh, uh, platform, Telefonica Kernel, in order to create all these digital services and also the number of developments, technological developments that we have is uh, growing. It is a tsunami, and uh, we, they are changing the way we see internet. We're talking about the metaverse and many other technologies that started to be very relevant in this decentralized internet we are creating. And in Telefonica, we don't want to be left behind. So we are watching these technologies in innovation in Telefonica, and we have uh, taken a step forward in order to bring our positioning in the technological spaces in the heart of our technologies. And this is why we have uh, recruited a new Metaverse chief officer. Uh, this is uh, so that she is in charge of all these things. So Yaitha Rubio, please. Uh, soft responsibility, Metaverse chief officer. And uh, we also have, we are also very lucky because uh, we've been able to participate in this revolution. And uh, maybe you remember uh, the starting point, uh, but I will try to, un to explain it to you in any case. So the beginning of internet, um, they. We don't understand the relationship of people and companies if we don't go back to the past when the first webs were created and companies created their first websites and the users were just viewers and consumers of information and then we move it to another era of internet that it is more complicated and more complex in which we can build the internet services like Amazon, Microsoft, Facebook, Google, and we start creating social platforms in which the users have a, a more relevant power and where they can create their own identities and they create content, they can publish the information they want, they can like, and so they are more relevant. And then in Telefonica, we uh, have adapted our infrastructures, as you mentioned. So we became a UNSP, and we developed uh, such innovative uh, projects as Infobia, and uh, also we continue the adaptation with uh, Web2, and then we start a deployment, broadband services. We understood that the mobile environment was very important to us, and we started developing the 3G, 4G networks, and now 5G. And uh, now internet is uh, very alive, more alive than it's never been. And users uh, start uh, to ask for other experiences, more immersive experiences related to virtual reality and augmented reality, and all the business models after this Web3 
and uh, it is uh, starting to be more important. And uh, in Telefonica, we are doing the same. So we have worked a lot on infrastructure and innovation and uh, projects in this metaverse environment like a 5G standalone or the network slicing or the telco edge that are going to be very relevant because we will give this high fidelity capacity to users and uh, with the consumption of uh, wide capacity network and also the web3 architectures uh, and uh, it's like uh, the users are starting to have this real power of uh, internet. Uh, they are going to have their own piece of internet. And uh, so you do not depend on a third party to generate this identity. They will be the managers of uh, this uh, personal private key that will allow them to interact with these decentralized apps. So. We are going to then do many more things. So the identity part is very relevant to us. And uh, and uh, also the we strongly believe that from Telefonica we can give uh, more s mm, solidity to the creation of this identity and also to give connectivity and um, also security from the network because as you said we are going to try and make this uh, product evolve this uh, secure connection in order to adapt ourselves to these new realities of decentralized applications and as you said we have created the fourth platform telefonica kernel in order to build all these digital products and also in order to integrate these uh, payment gateways, we will have uh, to take another step forward to adapt it to all the tokens and the cryptocurrency payments. And also how customers get in touch with us. And we want to offer totally immersive experiences uh, in the contact center and the physical shops that we have, how the priority users relate to our company and also the internet areas and innovation areas and open innovation areas that uh, we'll see a lot of businesses that are generating from startups to see if it makes sense for us and then to introduce it in our value proposal. and. Uh, well, there's so many, many things. I don't know if I left something behind. No, no, I think that uh, there is a lot of expectation. And uh, next year in the Mobile World Congress, we'll want to know what we've done. Yes, so we are taking solid steps uh, and we want to be protagonists in this change. So you are not going to get bored. and. Uh, these are the things we've done in innovation and in Telefonica. One of the things that we know is that there is there will not be, there will not be future without innovation. We need to keep on innovating and appealing the innovators close to Telefonica, and uh, we are going to make Telefonica an innovation center with a lot of resources so that the entrepreneurs and creators of technology come to tech to Telefonica and. Uh, so that everything is at uh, your disposal. And one of the experiences we're working on is this immersive experience using uh, Microsoft technologies in which we see these uh, meetings, etc., in the future. And uh, my hair is drier than my avatar in the images, but this is just to give you an idea. So. We are going to keep on exploring this immersive part, and uh, we've worked with Meta and many areas, and also bringing our television experiences application to the Oculus uh, um, 
environment so that people can enjoy these experiences. We are also exploring this content in 368K and we are in this stage. We still don't know how this metaverse is going to be. Everybody's talking about this the metaverse. We're still building it and we don't know how it's going to be in reality. We know that there will be these virtual worlds with these immersive experiences and a crypto economy in this micro societies uh, with an identity and Telefonica wants to be a protagonist. So the message that we want to convey to you in the end is uh, that uh, we don't know where this is going to take us, but we need to start. We don't know where this is going to take us, bringing technologies further uh, ahead, but we need to start the journey. So thank you very much for your time and see you next year again in the Mobile World Congress. Thank you very much. Yeah,